the back side. Yeah, this is tough. I know. We might not get that far. To make her come back through the jump, try to hold still for a second. That's a problem I've been having. With so, her going around the jump, or are you yeah. not holding still? Well, uh, I'll, all the only part I see is that she goes around the jump. I don't know about the holding still. Okay. Well, typically, if they're going around the jump, you need to hold still. And then they'll take the jump on the way back to you. At least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Like that? Yes. And then? Boy, just as she comes... As you see her look up at you through the jump, uh -huh. then you can move. But this is one of those instances where I say if you start to move, it lets the dog continue on the same trajectory they're already on. She's on a trajectory yeah. to go around the jump to yeah. get to the backside. Yeah. Right? So as soon as you move, yeah. she stays on that trajectory. And that's if, exactly right. That's exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. And if you hold still, it should change that trajectory back into you. Let's just see if we can learn that. Well, that's where I am with Dacker, too. I mean, that's I got to teach him to do that, and he's not eight months old. Go all the way to the stanchion of the jump. So she has to stay committed until the dog's nose goes past the standard. Mm -hmm. Well, that's never going to work. No, this is this is the training part. Yes. No, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on there. I want you to do a couple of just the backsides of the jump part. We're going to back chain this a little bit. She did her whole, her own correction. This, this is kind of the stuff I would do if I if I were having this kind of issue because I haven't got it hey. all trained yet. Uh -huh. I would just write down to this. I, I might still do this exercise, but now if you send it to the backside, now you got more room. Yay! Yes. Good girl. Right, but if, you know what? Let, let's just set it all up like this. <laughs> 